After two waterfalls in a day, we decided to go back to our hostel. The sight of the moon emerging out of the mountains also made it look very pleasant on our way back. We also saw the beautiful sea after dusk had descended. There was something special awaiting us. We were having the banana pancakes. It's always a delight in Thailand when we have this. It's kind of a quasi-local dish because the person who was actually making it for us was a Burmese man. It has a lot of flavors, banana, mango, Nutella and peanut butter. I kind of like peanut butter and Nutella and um, it costs anywhere between 35 and 50 bahts and that butter, the way it melts, it exactly melts the same in your mouth too when you have it extremely hot. And I just couldn't stop with one. I think I had a, a couple of these uh, banana pancakes and I just loved them. Our next stop, however, as soon as we finished with the banana pancakes, was to go meet the travel agent because we had a couple of train tickets to book on our journey back from Chumphon to Bangkok. The beach trail is never complete without a Thai train ride. And after we did that, we just went and saw in the physical map what was our next point of call. The full moon party was a day ahead and the markets were all colourful and expecting people to go and buy some of these full moon party attires. We also explored the road leading to our hostel where a game of beer pong was going on. It's basically inebriated archery in search of chugging the night away. We had a look at what they were playing and decided that maybe this game wasn't for us. We went back to our hostel to go charge our mobiles inside. The hostel. Wow. I, let me tell you something about it. Hostel life 101. At any point, somebody is always asleep. Your room is going to be filled with clothes and towels being strewn about. People are packing up and also telling stories of how their day went. We were in a very interesting road. It's a street of three hostels uh, called Jaya and Longhouse Hostel. I'd recommend this lane. It's a beautiful lane for a lot of vibe and energy as you're seeing here in this dance. If you want to dance the night away, the day before the full moon party, this is the lane to be. From the noise of Hadrin, we then chose to drive the next day to a very serene place called Shaluklam. It was about 40 minutes away, but it actually took us about 2 hours. And why not? When you have such beautiful scenery on either sides of the road, you choose to slow down, you choose to see what's in your way, and then you just choose to take breaks, sometimes for tender coconut, sometimes for having watermelon juice, and sometimes for just finding some random fruit like mangoes or bananas. Whoa, were we having fun? From the green forest to the sea, we had just made a beautiful journey. We had arrived at a fishing village called Shaloklam Bay. It was a little overcast, but the sea was still beautiful enough to lure us to explore the two and a half kilometer coastline. The long tail boats were out in full view, and so were the trees. The trees were relaxing in various angles, and it actually looked like it was chaperoning that little island from prying visitors. There were actually very few people out on the beach. Count them. I think it's less than 20 people on the beach. It had a beautiful curve where it went towards the mountains. And as that curve went, we saw fewer people and people who were relaxing. People who could not be disturbed by hawkers or sellers trying to sell where. People just reading books and people relaxing on the sand. Life couldn't be better. As we were staring down the little boat, 
that was coming off the eastern end, we wanted to go and explore what was there at that end of the beach. So we walked along a very peaceful stretch of sand where the waves were slowly crashing on the shore, making us actually want to sleep a bit on the shore and then get to the other end. But uh, it was pretty hot so we decided to quickly walk over and uh, see for ourselves what was there. There was this nice lagoon type of place. Uh, I, we could see another beach on the other end, but we couldn't get there. We thought we could swim over, but uh, the water was very deep. We even saw a resort on the other side, but unfortunately there was no way to get there. So, we saw a boatman and asked him if he could transport us there. And all of this for just 30 bucks. But the boatman also told me he wouldn't come back. So I would have to necessarily get inside the island and then walk over all the way along that white path to get to the main city. And so, I spent the next couple of hours staring at the waters, putting my head inside the water and feeling the waves every single time that it came and struck me. If you've ever fallen asleep to the sound of crashing waves, then you'd probably know how the repetitive gentle bass beat can you know dispel stress and bring about a very blissful state of calm and I just had that in the couple of hours that I was there. I became the water. For all the time that I spent there in the water, I was starting to feel like I was part of the water. I was trying to follow the path that the water took from the beach all the way right into the sea through the little cuts that it made through the mud. After relaxing and lounging for a couple of hours, I decided that it was time that I pack my bags and head out to the next destination to go catch a beautiful sunset. The next point on the beach trail was the Mayhart beach. It was about 5 kilometers from where we were. And it took us close to about 40 minutes because we had to ride through a very bumpy terrain. I see these beautiful structures that you've gone ahead and uh, done. So what's the thought behind some of these structures? So you have to get different types of rocks, stack them together so that they don't fall over. So the gravity, the center they of gravity is in the middle. have one core of balance in the middle. And when the water comes by, because they've all been pressured into the right position, it never sweeps them out and it's sort of like the balance, of like life, and so it's cute, yeah. And after observing them, we decided to walk down the beach and go view the sunset that was impending. There is something about staring endlessly at the sea during a sunset 
who I'm sure there is. It has a way of being your agony aunt, making you calm down and bring up the issues your mind never actually brings up. I had a beautiful time that week staring at sunsets. Maybe I should schedule more of sea time this year. The beach trail was beginning to look beautiful. After some peaceful and magical sunsets at Mehad, we decided to drive to the full moon party back in Hadrin. The place was all colorfully lit up and people were also dressing up in various attires. So did we. We decided to do some body painting and then head to the beach. We also decided to go buy some fluorescent t-shirts to um, soak in all of the uh, uh, excitement and energy. And we had a fun night out trying to meet people and trying to observe how 30,000 people congregate and have fun. And so, we survived the full moon party. Staying awake all night is not something that I'm used to back home in India. But I kind of must have all of the courage to uh, stay up all night and I was doing this for two consecutive nights. So it was brilliant watching the sunrise um, as the you know dawn approached. It was uh, absolutely magical being on that coast with now maybe 10,000 people. Maybe 20,000 had probably gone back to bed after all the reveling on the beach. It was beautiful and the next part of our trip now was about to open up. After three days out in the beach and in waterfalls, we weren't quite back to sea. Call it the seafaring curse in terms of we having to return back to sea. But we liked it. We, we thought we should schedule a trip to the Angkong Marine National Park to go explore some out of the world islands and also do some snorkeling in the sea. So just like as in the beach, we were on for our next trip and next adventure. Episode 3 ends right here, but do come back for episode 4, which is going to have a lot more. I hope you liked what you saw. Please do share your comments in the comment section. And uh, if you did like our video, please spread the love, share it with your friends and also let us know. Till then, we will see you in the next episode. Hoping to see you again. Bye-bye.